subscribe if you want to help support and get, click the notification button so you don't miss any Dr. Dingley and Dr. And Kimmy videos. Um, by giving this video a thumbs up, you're helping, I think, get my videos out there for recommendations, so I appreciate it. And uh, comment below what, I don't know, what you should comment below. I always say this, but... share what you have been kind of dealing with lately. So, uh, I went to a counseling session because I go about every once a month and, um, if anyone has never gone to counseling before, I highly recommend it if you can afford it because I know it can be a bit, um, uh, steep in price, but when you can, um, say if, you just gotta affirm that one day you will. Um, I highly recommend because it's not like everybody thinks like, oh, if you go to counseling, something's wrong with you. Well, guess what, buddy? There's something wrong with all of us. We are all dealing with childhood stuff. We are all dealing with, um, anxiety. We are all dealing with insecurity. Like, I, there's no one that is not dealing with any of that stuff. We are human, therefore there is something that we need to shine light on. Doesn't necessarily mean there's something wrong with you, but you know what I mean. Um, and uh, I really think it's a great maintenance because you, like, ex for example, you shouldn't go to the gym when you start feeling overweight insecure with your body, you should always be going to the gym to kind of, um, maintain and make yourself feel healthier and keep, keep that up. So, I learned it was like one of my hardest sessions, I would have to say, because it's still affecting me like a week later. A week? Yeah. No. Jackie Chan is he your uncle? 
Are you related to Lucy Lou and all this stuff? I don't remember all of it, but I just remember not, you know, um, not really liking being Asian. Um, but uh, I specifically remember, and I think this is the root cause, which is kind of sad because sixth grade was more than 10 years ago and it has made me who I am, kind of, and not necessarily in a good way, like there's pros and cons to it. When I was in sixth grade, like, okay, growing up, my parents, like a lot of you probably think like, oh, your Asian parents made you. No, my parents never made me feel bad for getting a B or C or anything like that. Like, my dad would joke with me, like, but they never were actually like, Anytime I got a C or B, rarely did I get C's, but anytime I got a B, I would like, sometimes I would cry over it and I would be upset and my mom would just tell me, it's okay, just try again. So they were both very supportive, so it didn't come from them. What had happened was in sixth grade, I had a Pakistani and an Indian friend and unfortunately the culture, I'm not saying like all, you know, like just them specifically. I know that their parents were very strict on them uh, culturally. Like uh, they weren't allowed to talk to boys and they weren't really allowed to wear shorts. And as a kid, like you wear shorts, you know, you don't really, you, if it's hot, you wear shorts, but so I always felt kind of like the third wheel because they were more similar in like lifestyle and my mom just she lets me talk to boys she lets me wear shorts because she trusts me she um i remember that my pakistani friend told me and she wasn't trying to be mean i think she was just letting me know her mom did not approve of me being her friend because of my lifestyle. She felt like I was a bad influence and that hurt me so much because in that moment I felt so misunderstood. Like I felt like I was being judged incorrectly and um, I felt like I was a very good influence because there was no harm in what I was doing, just talking and flirting with boys at a middle school age. And they were doing it. They were talking to other boys and breaking all these rules that their parents had for them, but their parents didn't know, so I felt so singled out and misunderstood. And so I vowed to myself that I would beat her child in grades, like I would get higher grades in everything so that I could prove to her that I'm not who she thought I was, that I am a good influence, that I am a good student. So that went on until college. I would always have to do better. I'd always had to get more volunteer hours. I always had to get higher 100%. I had to take more AB classes. I had to, like, it's, it, I didn't realize it, but it spiraled into, I had to do better in everything, SAT scores, ACT scores, and it just kept on going, like, I was never enough, I never, like, I just kept on going, because they, there was this almost, like, competitiveness between the three of us that we never really addressed, but we all knew was there, so, I think that's why I'm like that, this, these days, it's like, I always feel like I have to do better, if I make, like, say I make $4,000 a month, next month I have to make 4000 or more, and it just keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going, so I can't allow myself to ever relax, to let myself dip down. Um, 
so when I, like, in middle school and high school, like, I always wanted to, to be cute, you know, I didn't feel pretty, I felt awkward, I was shy, I was very, very shy, and, uh, I remember in seventh grade, I liked this boy, and, uh, he, uh, there, a rumor broke out that he liked me back, and I was so excited, and, um, Mom found out and she was livid. 
true.